Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, about over a week ago, I did a top 50 worst album covers video. And I said, if I got enough comments and views and everything, I would do a part two. Well, the video has almost 5,000 views as of right now. And it had over 140 comments and 246 likes. So, I've decided to do a part two. Now, I did receive, you know, two or three comments where there were, probably out of those 50, there were maybe four or five that were fake album covers. So this time, I'm pretty sure all of these are authentic. But if one, of, one or two of them isn't, just let me know. But I did do some, you know, research for some of them that looked a little <laughs> fishy, but they were real. I even heard some of the music. And it wasn't a pretty picture, just like the album cover. So here we go. And once again, you know, if you enjoy these, it's going to be more difficult every time to get <laughs> really bad album covers. I might at some point do a video where the viewers send me in some album covers that, that I haven't done yet. And what I've done this time is some of these are well-known bands, not all of them, maybe at least, I think, 20 of the 50 albums are, are artists that you should know, or most of you should know. And in no particular order, here we go. Alice Cooper, the great Alice Cooper. I love Alice Cooper especially the Alice Cooper Band. But this is one of his solo albums called Raise Your Fist and Yell. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I'm not saying all of these are terrible. Just in my opinion, they're not, they're not very good. But, you know, let me know what, what are your, what are your least favorites? And also, you know, like maybe some of you love this album cover but I think it's kind of uh, tacky for Alice Cooper. <laughs> Jack Stars, Burning Star. Very good. No turning back. There's no turning back from getting hit by lightning. He's, he's right in the, the way of a very bad storm, it looks like. <laughs> This one hurts my hurts my eyes. Key Dragon. If you can read the, the font, drink from the waters of war. And then looks like a ten year old child possibly drew that. <laughs> it's different. That's one thing I'll say. Metal Church, Hanging in the Balance. I don't see any church. <laughs> uh, it's just, just a little odd. Wolf. <laughs> I guess the... I, Either the album is called Arnold or the artist that drew this fine picture of a wolf with bird claws. It's a, uh, you know, but you never know. Maybe the music is good. It's just the album cover sucks. Another one, Fire Down Under. Now, Riot is kind of like an ACDC kind of a band. I believe they're from Australia. I could be wrong, like ACDC. Uh, but yeah, that's. I think that that was their, kind of like Iron Maiden has their mascot. What's his name? I forget the name at the moment. But this is, I guess, their mascot because I've seen this 
thing on more than one of the Riot album covers. It's kind of scary. Gonna have nightmares tonight. Black Sabbath, Born Again. Now, for me, this is a terrible album cover. Some people, some Black Sabbath fans think that the Sabotage album cover with uh, Bill Ward and his uh, his wife or his girlfriend's tights <laughs> is a bad album cover. I think it's kind of cool, actually. But this one, for me, is not good. But I, I have read that some Black Sabbath fans like this album. <laughs> uh, Photoshop at its finest. Topple, topple the giants. Ed, edema. I am really curious to to hear how they sound or he sounds. Yeah. Rick Wakeman, of course, the great, talented Rick Wakeman. Kind of a, I don't know, one of his solo albums called Raps Rhapsodies. Rhapsodies. And it looks like he's just plopped onto the photo. Nice hair. Nice hair, Rick. <laughs> but, you know. Awesome musician. I'm a huge fan of Yes, one of my all-time favorite bands. So I really shouldn't be laughing at Rick Wakeman. Even though he's a great comedian. Deep Purple, one of the great bands. And this album, for some reason, is called Bananas. I don't think there's a song called Bananas. I don't know if any of the lyrics mention Bananas. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, it's not the most, unless you really love, I was going to say it's not the most ap appetizing cover, unless you love bananas. <laughs> Bad Company, another great classic rock band. Just, you know, it's not a terrible album cover, it's just, or run with the pack. With there yeah, looks like a a child along with some wolves. I don't know the backstory to that one, and I really don't want to know. Now the Beach Boys' Pet Sounds. You know, obviously, it's one of the great albums from the '60s. And I even re I remember reading that Paul McCartney was saying to, uh, I don't know if it was Brian Wilson or Mike Love, I think it was Mike Love, about their album covers. Like, you know, it's kind of a, I guess, a bland album cover. And I, ne I never liked the, the songs being listed on the front cover, but that's what happened a lot in the 60s. But like I said, it's a great album. Just, you know, it's too bad it couldn't have had a, a nicer, kind of like a Sgt. Peppery kind of album cover. Talking Heads, Remain in Light, great album. But maybe, maybe some of you like this, but not me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charles John Qu Quarto. Uh, and I did make sure that this was a real album cover. It is. Uh, I really shouldn't be laughing at him. He's probably a fine musician. But that hair, that hair's seen better days, and that was like 20 or 30 years ago. Yeah, Three Dog Night. I think I've got... So this is the original, which is kind of disturbing to say the, the least. 
It's called Hard Labor. And I think there's a pit, I, you know, they're all kind of mixed up, but I think you'll see the, the one that they replaced it with. Kind of the same cover, but they did re replace it a bit. But Three Dog Night themselves, I love Three Dog Night. Excellent band. <laughs> Is that Adrian? One step into the uncertain. Well, you're, you're really stepping into the uncertain to, to play this album after seeing this album cover. It's... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I do try and add some humor to, you know, along with these funny covers, but some of them it's like, there's nothing you can add to it. You just have to laugh and move on, which I'm going to do right now. Sitting on Top of the World, Jamie Redfern, featuring Rainbow on the River and We'll Meet Again. I have no idea why Liberace is with him. And once again, I don't necessarily want to know. So we'll move on. Yeah, just a kind of a, a very unique album cover. <laughs> I got to look this up after. Col, Colucci, Colucci. Volume three. I can't even read what that says. Let me see here. Yeah, it's hard to read. But uh, I, supposedly there's a volume one and volume two. Chuck and the Woodchucks. <laughs> You know, it's going to be a rockin' album when there's an, an accordion on the front cover. <laughs> Johnny Tan, shaking all over. Oh, he does my Bonnie, love potion number nine, my love. Charlie and his go-go boys. He's got quite the style. Johnny Tan, I'm going to look that up after. Whatever happened? There's going to be a documentary coming out later this year on Netflix. It's called Whatever Happened to Johnny Tan. It's just a five-minute documentary. <laughs> Renhard May, whatever that says, 13. <laughs> Such an appealing album cover, though. It looks like he just woke up. Now, there might be a time, you know, there might be an album here or two where I, that I've already done. It's like all of these bad album covers. I might repeat one or two, and I apologize, because this one does look familiar. But it's just maybe because I've been staring at it for a long time, just like the Sgt. Pepper album cover when it came out. We Will Make Love, Russ Hamilton. It's a, it's hard to read. It's some kind of heavy metal band, obviously. I don't know if anybody can read that, but once again, my eyes are hurting. And if I play that album, my ears are going to be hurting. Now, Frank Zappa, Studio 10. I'm a huge Frank Zappa fan. Now, this wasn't authorized by him. Uh, and he hates these album covers. So I'm putting this up because, you know, 
if I knew it was by Frank Zappa and he approved it, then I probably would like this because it's so bizarre. But knowing that Frank Zappa did not approve this in some other album covers, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the, the the Three Dog Night Hard Labor once whatever happened and they had to put the band-aid. I think it was a I think it was a removable band-aid if I never had this vinyl record, but maybe somebody can let me know. But that would actually that should have been the original album cover anyway, and then if you don't want to peel off that band-aid. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real al album, real band. Coronator or Conorator, Hassan Chartbreaker. They look quite, <laughs> they look quite, quite scary. <laughs> Blue Oyster Cult, my, probably my favorite American band. This is a great album, by the way. And they did replace this cover with a, another cover. But yeah, this one's kind of over the top. It's, it looks like your typical heavy metal. You know, it's not the worst album cover, but just, you know, for Blue Oyster Cult, they, they need a better album cover than that, I believe. It's kind of tacky. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, the famous Emerson, Lake, and Palmer love Beach. And I, I love to compare it to, you know, one of their earlier albums like uh, Brain Salad Surgery, which has that really cool album cover. And then, you know, they come out with Love Beach. It's just pretty funny. And this is a real album, I, I had to make sure. The introduction of Knob Lick Upper 10,000. I don't know the backstory to this one, and I really don't want to know. Asia. Astra. Yeah, pretty bad. It's certainly not a, like uh, Steve Howe from Yes was the guitarist in this band. It's certainly not a uh, Roger Dean type of cover. Yeah, the Beatles yesterday and today, you know, when you look back on it, it was kind of pretty sickening to, you know, that somebody approved this to be released including, you know, the Beatles. I, and I do understand, you know, I, I do know kind of the backstory, but, you know, there's one or two different backstories to it, but they're just being crazy, and it certainly worked. It's uh, disturbing, but let's move on. Yeah, Van Morrison, The Prophet Speaks, just, you know, for a guy of his stature, it's kind of a, it's pretty strange, actually. <laughs> Puppets are always strange. The Bee Gees, Life in a Tin Can. The Great Bee Gees. Just not one of my favorite album covers of theirs. Oh, I, I've got this twice. So I guess there's only 49. I apologize. Country Church? <laughs> 
The Frivolous Five, Sour Cream and Other Delights. Now they're doing a takeoff on the Herb Albert album cover, the famous one from the 60s. So it's, you know, it's not, it actually, what is it doing in this video? I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of cute in a way, I guess. I apologize. <laughs> Jim Post. I love my life. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like he loves it, the, the look on his face. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Kevin Rowland, My Beauty. Now he is uh, from Dexy's Midnight Runners. Come on, Eileen. I think most people know. One of the great one-hit wonders. Come on, Eileen. And this is his solo album, and he decided to dress up, or I guess dress down. Good for him. Uh, let's move on. Med Krell Kruggy Oak Rick Lowe's Orchestra. So this might be before Photoshop, obviously. I think it's from the, like the early 70s. So it's, you know, it's like the Sgt. Pepper album. You could stare at that album cover for hours on end while listening to the album or listening to Sgt. Pepper. Yeah, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Live It Up. This might be, for me, the worst for a, you know, for a good artist, the worst album cover ever. It's like, who decided on this? Like, did, did David Crosby's, yeah, that's it. That's the album cover. <laughs> Satan is Real, The Lovin' Brothers, a great... See, once again, I'm, I think maybe I had this in the first video. But they, they are a, a great bluegrass twosome, I guess, brothers. But yeah, the album cover is kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> Man of War Anthology. Battle Hymn. All Men Play on Ten. Sign of the Hammer and Metal Warriors. Yeah, this one is, I almost didn't want to post this one. It's Millie Jackson, the great Millie Jackson. Back to the, and then it's kind of blurred out, I think, I hope. But yeah, not the most appealing album cover. You know, like somebody's in a record store, they see that, I want to get that album. It's, it's not the same as seeing like Dark Side of the Moon in a record store. <laughs> Songs for Gay Dogs. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Patty Roberts. Yeah, Ted Nugent, Scream Dream, pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. Let's move on. Move on. Yeah, let's move on. It's me, Mom. Wally White. <laughs> One of the songs is Don't Send My Mother to Prison. <laughs> Let's 
Almost done here. Bare naked banjos. And the last one, the miracle at my house. And I don't know what the miracle was. And I don't know what she's holding. Almost looks like a, like a missile. But uh, yeah, some album covers are just confusing. And that's why you stare at them for hours on end, trying to figure, figure out the whole story, like on this album cover. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed 49 of the worst album covers. <laughs> and uh, please, you know, if you want a part three at some point, please remember to leave a comment below and like the video and share this video with others on Facebook and Twitter and wherever else. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.